Panagdait sa tanang kabuhatan. For today's video presentation, I will be presenting the lesson 3 of our topic, which is self-assesses health-related participation and one's diet fitness, status and barriers to physical activity assessment. Now let's start by defining these terms. Physical fitness assessments are designed to give individualized feedback regarding one's overall fitness status and or physiological reaction to physical activity effort. So kung may yung taog, one's overall fitness status, nag-include na nadiha ang different aspects such as physical, spiritual, emotional, and social, and the other aspects of life. So mauna ang atong i-assess sa physical assessment nga fitness. Next, we have fitness. It is defined as a state of good health or physical condition, primarily as a result of exercise and proper condition or proper nutrition. So fitness, muna siya ang result sa ato ang pag-exercise or sa ato ang proper nutrition nga gina uh, exercise. Next, uh, let's proceed to the groupings of physical fitness. There are two. First, we have health-related fitness and the second, skill-related physical fitness. But today, I will only be presenting the health-related fitness. Health-related fitness focuses mainly on the optimum health of the individual. And there are five main components of health-related fitness. First, we have the cardiovascular respiratory endurance or aerobic power. The ability of the circulatory and respiratory systems to send oxygen to muscles over an extended period. Okay, so na-discuss na nato ni before kanong mga aerobic activities. Examples are running and jogging. And maka-improve na sa ato ang breathing. So muna siya example sa cardiovascular respiratory endurance. First, we have muscular strength. Refers to the single maximum amount of force a muscle can exert against some Resistance. The very basic example for muscular strength is weight lifting. Since nag-exert man ka og single maximum amount of force. Muscular endurance refers to the capacity to move one's body or an object without tiring. So kaning uh, muscular strength and muscular endurance must go together. The only difference is that Muscular endurance na na siya repetition nga nahitabo. Like for example, kung mo perform ka og one push up, muscular strength lang to. Pero kung na repetition, 20 push ups, 100 push ups, under na na siya sa muscular endurance. But then again, muscular strength and muscular endurance must go together. Flexibility. Refers to the ability to move a joint smoothly through its complete range of motion that allows a person to do bending movements without incurring injury. So to move a joint smoothly, uh, atong mga joints, nasa atong elbows, nasa atong knees. And usually, ang mag-perform ng flexibility is ka ng mga gymnast. Okay, flexible na kayo na ilahang body. And the fifth one, we have body composition, uh, refers to the measurement of body fat and muscle mass in the body. Or it is the overall physical structure of our body. Those are the five main components of health-related fitness. Now let us proceed to the stress assessment. What stresses one person may excite and challenge the other? Moreover, the amount of stress is not what matters. Instead, the person's ability to overcome the stressful situation is most important. Now, we have different ways on how we cope with stress. Some might feel challenged. Mas ma-challenge sila kung maka-experience sila ng mga stressful situations. But for some, ma-trigger sila, mas ma-down sila ng samot because they find 
it hard on how to deal with stress. Now, I will be presenting to you on how are we going to assess our stress. And there are five. Resting heart rate, equipment, stopwatch, or clock. And after this, uh, we will be having an activity i-perform ni ninyo. So, basahon lang nako ang instructions. Okay, na naman dritanan. Instructions, make sure that your body has been relaxed for at least 30 minutes. So, before mo mo perform, ani, i-relax sa inyong body at least 30 minutes. Then, find your pulse either on your wrist or on your neck. Okay, pwede man na siya ma-feel sa wrist. Pwede po siya sa neck. For 0 seconds or 1 minute, count the number of beats you feel. And that will be your resting heart rate. So, for 1 minute lang, paggamit mo stopwatch. For 1 minute, i-record pila ka beat sa pulse ang inyong ma feel. That will be your resting heart rate. Second, breathing pattern. Equipment, chair with a back rest. Instruction, sit on the chair making sure that your back is flat against the back of the chair. So, dapat ang inyong bangko na ay sandiganan. Your palm should be on your abdomen covering your navel, kaninyong pusod. While your other hand should be on the upper part of your chest just above your heart. Observe your breathing for a minute or two. Observe your hands as you breathe in and out. Which hand seems to move more? The hand on your abdomen or the one on your chest or are they moving equally? So maulang na inyo hang i-observe kung asa mas ang ni mas ni lihok. Pwede siya sa abdomen, the hand on your abdomen, or the hand on your chest, or are they moving equally? The third one, we have respiratory rate instructions. Count the number of natural effortless breaths you take in a minute. Breathe as normal and as natural as possible. Each inhalation and exhalation cycle is considered one breath. The number of breaths you take in one minute is called your respiration rate. Record the total number of beats you take per minute. So inhale, exhale, that's one breath. And then for one minute, i-count ninyo pila ka breath ang inyong ma-execute. Fourth one, we have stress o -meter. Recall the events that happened to you over the past two weeks, including all your waking moments. Use the stress o -meter to rate your day-to-day -day experiences from 1 to 10 using the following guide. So, i-rate lang inyong experience from 1 to 10. Kung 1, it means you felt that you have a stress-free life. You felt happy and calm most of the time and everything seemed to go as you expected. So, kung 1, meaning wala yung kay kay uh, na-experience nga stressful situation. 10 means that you felt high levels of stress. You felt entirely overwhelmed as your life has no direction and is out of control. So, grabe kayo nga problems or mga stressful situations nga inyong na-encounter. Kung 10 ang inyong i-rate. So, kung sakto lang, pwede siya 5, pwede siya 6. And again, depende na na ninyo. So, those are the stress assessment. Now, let's proceed to the body mass index. How are we going to get our body mass index or BMI? Body mass index is a measure of body fat and is commonly used within the health industry to determine whether your weight is healthy. BMI applies to both adult men and women and is the calculation of body weight concerning height. To solve for your BMI, you must follow the formula. So, ang formula sa pag kuha sa BMI. BMI is equals to weight. Dapat ang weight, nakakilogram, ang iyahang unit. And then, ang height, divided by the height. Dapat ang unit is meter. And then, to the power of 2. Okay, for example, your weight is 75 kilogram. Your height is 1.8 meter. Solution, 75 divided by 1.8 to the power of 2, I multiply along 1.8 by itself, 
That's 3.24. I-divide na tayo siya. 75 divided by 3.24. And that will be your BMI, 23.15. Now, let us see kung healthy ba ni siya nga BMI. A BMI of 25 to 29.9 is considered overweight. So, kung within 25 to 29.9, overweight na siya. Anything over 30 is considered obese. Or kanang above 30, considered na siyang as obese. Normal BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9. So, kaning nga BMI, makonsidered siya as normal. Note that the standard normal BMI differs from age group and sex. Now, let's proceed to the barriers to physical activity. Kung sa mga barriers, nga nung dili man tamaka engage to physical activity. First, we have insufficient time for exercise. So, kung busy kayo mo, you have work, maglisod na mo og hatag og time para sa exercise. Consider exercise as an inconvenience. So, dili mo uh, nagsinamok lang ang exercise, no? Par years na siya. Kung para feel ninyo, samok-samok lang ang pag-exercise. Lack self-motivation. So, kung wala mo y, uh, self-motivation, dili gid mo mo engage yung exercise. Okay. It needs to be start from your self. Find exercise not enjoyable. Okay. And then find exercise boring. Boringan ka mag-exercise, so di you ka mag-exercise. Lack of confidence in their ability to be physically active or uh, low ang imong self-esteem. Have fear of being injured or have a recent injury. So kung na-injured na ka or mahadlo ka ma-injury, no? or ma-injured, hadlo ka ma-injured, Muna siya ang barriers sa physical activity. Lack of self-management skills, inability to set personal goals, monitor progress, reward progress towards such goals, and the lack of encouragement, support, or companionship from family and friends. Do not have adequate facilities. So, walay uh, saktong gamit sa so park, sidewalks, Bicycle trails and physical uh, fitness centers. And that would be all. Now let's proceed to your activity. And I've already posted this in our Google Classroom. So visit lang mo sa atong Google Classroom. You need to get your body mass index. But before that, you need to find your height and your weight. And you need to show your solution. Resting heart rate. Beats per minute, pila ka pulse ang mga feel per minute, breathing pattern, ahang uh, kamot ang mas ni move sa hand in your abdomen or in your chest or both, respiration rate, pila ka breathing ang imong ma feel sa isa ka minute, and then stress o meter, i rate ang imong experience from 1 to 10. Just follow the instructions nga katuong gi present ganina. And that would be all. I hope you learned something today. See you next week for another video.